Hi, in this video we're going to take a look at angle relationships and problems that involve finding missing angles. Uh, we're going to talk about some angle basics including straight angles and vertical angles, angles that are formed when a line crosses two other parallel lines, and then we're also going to talk about angles in triangles and other polygons. Then I've got five uh, sample problems that involve finding uh, missing angles that we're going to take a look at as well and solve and discuss those. Let's take a look. Okay, so let's take a look at some angle basics. Uh, first of all, a straight angle or a line is going to be 180 degrees. So any two angles that form a straight line, like here A and B, are going to add up to 180 degrees or any three or more angles as long as they add up to a straight line you can see when you put a b and c together uh, they add up to a straight line so that's going to be 180 degrees when you add those three together vertical angles are formed when you have two intersecting lines so the angles that are crossed from each other are what we consider vertical angles so in here a and c are going to be vertical angles and d and b are going to be vertical angles so vertical angles are going to be equal. So A is going to equal C and B is going to equal D. Notice in a diagram like this we also have straight angles as well. So we've got the straight angles of AB, BC, CD, and DA. Notice all those pairs uh, make straight lines and add up to 180 as well. And if we look at A, B, C, and D all together, it forms a circle. So when we've got four or any number of angles, um, in this case four, that form a circle, then we're going to have a 360 degrees in all of those angles when we add those together. Alright, now angles when one line crosses two parallel lines, so if the two lines going across are parallel and we have a line that crosses it, um, we're going to get eight different angles. Now, if you notice, unless it forms, um, unless it crosses it perpendicularly, it's going to form four angles that are bigger than 90 degrees and four angles that are smaller than 90 degrees, and that's important to notice. So, these four angles that I've labeled A, B, C, and D are all greater than 90 degrees, and those are all going to be equal to each other. Now, the names to those, A and B are considered vertical angles that we just covered. Uh, B and C are considered alternate interiors. A and C are corresponding angles, and A and D are alternative, alternate exterior angles. Uh, but the, the, when you're solving for angles, it's just important to know that those four larger angles are going to be equal to each other. And similarly, we've got four angles that are smaller than 90 degrees. Uh, these that I've labeled here, E, F, G, and H, and those are going to be all equal to each other. And then any combination of a large and a small angle in this is going to get us 180. So if I take any of the red ones, A, B, C, or D, and add it to any of the small angles, E, F, G, or H, I'm going to get 180 degrees. All right, the next thing we're going to look at is triangles and polygons. So a triangle, the three angles of a triangle, no matter what triangle looks like, whether it's a right angle or not, are going to add up to 180 degrees. Now let's take a look at, at a quadrilateral. So we can take and divide that into two triangles. So the total angle of those four angles combined is going to be the same as those two triangles. So it's going to be 180 plus 180, or 360. So therefore, the four angles added together is going to get us 360 degrees. What about a pentagon? Well, a pentagon can be divided into three triangles. So the total angles here is going to be 180 times 3, or 540. So those five angles, when we add them together, are going to be 540. And just to put it as a general equation, we take the number of sides minus 2. That's actually the number of triangles that you're going to be able to form is the number of sides minus 2 and then we multiply that times 180 so you can see in both of those cases we could have used that equation n minus 2 times 180 to get those same answers as well okay so let's take a look at these five problems involving angle basics 
So in the first problem we're trying to solve for this missing angle over here, A, uh, let's first start with the triangle on the left though. So in order to find this angle here, we know that this triangle's gotta be 180 degrees. We already have 55 and 70 with those two angles, or 125. So to figure out what this angle is going to be, they've got to all add up to 180. So 180 minus our 125, and that's going to get us 55. So this angle here is going to be 55. Now these two lines across form vertical angles. So this is also going to be 55 because vertical angles are the same. And now in the triangle on the right, those also have to add up to 180. So 60 and 55, those two angles get us 115. So to find A, we're going to do 180 minus 115, or 65. So A is going to be 65 degrees. All right, here we're trying to find this angle out here, A. So we could start by finding this angle. We know that the three have to add up to 180. So 85 and 45 gets us 130. So if they have to add up to 180, 180 minus 130 gets us 50. So this angle has to be 50. And now the 50 plus A form a straight line right here. So they've got to add up to 180 as well. So A is going to be 180 minus 50 or 130. So A is going to be 130. Now let me show you a trick here. Whatever this angle is added to these two numbers gets us 180. Whatever this number is added to A also gets us 180. Therefore, A has to be the same as this and this angle added together. So we could have done a shortcut and just added the 85 and the 45 and gotten the 130 right away. All right, the next problem we're trying to find all the missing angles inside. Uh, let's start with A. A is a vertical angle to that 85 degrees. So A is just going to be 85. Over here, B and 115 form a straight angle. So to find B, we're going to go 180 minus the 115, or 65. So B is going to be 65. Now to find C, we've got a triangle made up of 85, 65, and C. So 85 and 65 is 150 degrees. So to find C, 180 minus the 150, or C is going to be 30. All right, in the next um, problem, notice that we have parallel lines. These symbols here indicate that those two lines are parallel and we have a line crossing a parallel line. So when we have a line crossing two parallel lines, we're going to get um, four big angles and four small angles. And all the big angles are going to be the same. So all of these are going to be 105. And now A and B form a straight angle to add up to 180. So 180 minus 105 is just 75. And all of these small angles are going to be 75. So this is also 75. Or you could also say that it's a vertical angle to A. So that's going to be 75 as well. So A is 75, B is 105, D is 75, and C is 105. All right. In the last problem, we have a pentagon. Um, and we know two of the angles, and we find, find the value of the other three angles added together. So we need to find the total of a pentagon. So we can divide it into three triangles, 180 degrees, 180 degrees, 180 degrees, and 180 
times 3 gets us 540. Or if you'd like to use the equation, n minus 2 times 180, where n is the number of sides. So a pentagon has five sides. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 times 180 is 540. Either way, all five angles in a pentagon are going to add up to 540 degrees. So we know two of them already. So the 115 plus 55 is 170. In total, we have 540. Subtract out the 170 and the three angles that are left, A, B, and C, need to add up to 370. So A plus B plus C is going to be 370. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments on this video or suggestions for future videos, just comment below. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, you can do so right over here. And I've got another suggestion for you to watch right here. Thank you and come back again soon.